Hello everyone, my name is Lucy. I'm making today's recipe in my slow cooker. I'm making Italian Sunday gravy. This is a meaty sauce good for any kind of pasta or rice. So please join me in my kitchen to make this delicious sauce. If you don't like meat, this is not the recipe for you. This recipe takes a lot of meat and that includes country style pork spare ribs. Two kinds of Italian sausage, the sweet kind and the hot kind. And one flank steak. This will give plenty of meaty taste to the sauce. It also takes a lot of tomato taste. I'm using one large can of diced tomatoes and one large can of tomato sauce. One large diced onion, about one half of a cup of dry red wine, vegetable oil, basil leaf, oregano, plenty of garlic, ground black pepper, tomato paste, and either cilantro leaves or parsley leaves. So let's start cooking. And I start preparing this recipe the night before. And the first thing I'm going to do is to fry all of the sausages in the olive oil or vegetable oil. Once they are fried, I transfer to the slow cooker pot. In the grease left behind by the sausages, I'm going to saute the onions until they are brown. I'm going to add the garlic, add the oregano, and the tomato paste. I'm going to deglaze the pan with a red wine and I'm going to let it reduce for a minute or two. Once this is done, I'm going to transfer this mixture to the slow cooker pot. Then I also add the diced tomatoes and the tomato sauce. And I'm going to add all of the rest of the meat, the flank steak and the spare ribs. I'm going to cover the slow cooker and put it in slow overnight for about 10 hours. The next morning, I'm going to remove all of the meat pieces from the sauce. I'm going to remove all of the bones from the spare ribs, and I'm going to cut the sausages in small, tiny pieces. i also going to cut the flank steak. I'm transferring everything to a Dutch oven because I want to reuse the slow cooker to make my rice. But you don't have to do this. You just simply put back the meat into the sauce inside the slow cooker. This is also a good time to scoop out with a spoon any excess oil. I add the basil leaf and the ground pepper to the sauce. Then I place back the meat into the sauce. Keep it warm until it's time to serve. 
Well, thanks for visiting me. I hope you like this recipe. And if you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon. Buen provecho. Bye bye.